just gonna get a cup of tea in our local apple green. Shout, shout out to you. Yes, guys, I'm back. We're kicking off 2024 and we're getting back on the YouTube. I took a sabbatical, I took a break because you know why it was too much work and I've just been too busy. But coming into 2024, I've got a man with a plan behind the camera so I don't have to do as much. And uh, we're kicking things off with a pretty entertaining video today. And it's gonna be entertaining videos all year. I'm gonna be meeting new people, traveling new places, giving you an ins insight into what it's like, what I'm doing day to day basically, behind the scenes. And today is a weird one. Today is gonna be a weird video. It's a cross collaboration that absolutely no one asked for, but um, it promises to be very, very entertaining. I'm a little nervous. I don't know what this guy is going to be like in person, but uh, we're going to find out. A uh, bad start so far. He's just texted to say he's going to be late, um, which isn't ideal. But listen, this is YouTube now. We're in, we're in the pits. All right. This is what happens when you're when you're filming YouTube vlogs. Okay. Things don't go to plan. It's not produced. This isn't being directed. Okay. This is real life. So I don't know how late how late he's gonna be, but I'll get a cup of tea. It'll be fine. Just got uh, just got recognised in the shop there. When I get recognised, they're like, "Oh my God, it's Eric Roberts." They said, "What was your name?" I think my grandmother follows you, so that was nice. <laughs> Right, we're here in Lifford. He says he's about five minutes away. I've no idea how this is going to go. He seems to be a bit of an unpredictable character, but I think it's a good way to kick off the YouTube series for the new year. Eh, can't be far away. Right, here he is. Well, how's things? How are you getting on? Too bad. I'll let this man out of here. Pleased to meet you. How are you getting on? Not too bad, sir. How are you yeah, going? All right. right. You've yeah, been well. I feel like we should have a home. Oh, a home. It's a pleasure. Oh, yeah. Here he is. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> oh no, well, the attempt is on. You're ready to get a big session going in here? That's it. Oh, Mission Irish Hulk is launched now. <laughs> Mission Irish Hulk, right? Come on, That's the plan. Right, we're in Lifford, we're in the railway, rail, railway, let me choose this first, the railway gym, and I'm here with the one and only King Rory. Political aspirations, most viral man alive in the early 2000s, and we're going to have a catch up with him today for my very first YouTube video of 2024. I'm Rory, I'm st still just a prince yet, we're still there. A prince yet. Are you doing the session today or am I doing the session? Oh, sure, we'll both go. Oh, okay, we're going to hit some shoulders. Rory. <laughs> When you start hitting shoulders, I want you to tell me about what it was like to be such a viral phenomenon at such an early age. Well, whenever it just sort of happened, like unexpectedly, I mean, it was, it was a bit surreal now at the start that way, but it's, ugh, I mean, it sort of got used to everybody knowing me in that, that type of way, but we're just finally getting organised to, you know, push forward with everything in a more professional way from here on in. So we have a great new manager with Joe there now on side, so we've been organizing everything together now the uh, initial plan is just to uh, we have a song uh, produced there might be a few songs there just to put myself out there as like a celebrity auctioneer there so uh next few weeks that should be all but you're, sk you're skipping ahead on me now i want to know uh -huh. when this first came out mm -hmm. frostbit boy was absolutely everywhere i know what 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 age were you when the video came out 18 it was just the last year of school and like you've been disappeared for the last number of years mm -hmm. like, where, where did you go what were you doing well i was plan after all the frost but i was just sort of wanted to make like a fresh start so i decided that i was going to go to america then and then that was you know like i was basically going to go and you know have this niche for myself like this real irish auctioneer out there was so there did you did you leave because of that you didn't want to be recognized anymore mm, well it's it's not that, that i minded that but but it's, it's a wee bit hard then just to uh, b because you weren't really famous for anything in particular other than just saying it was cool that way. Well, this is my issue. I, like, I'm not famous for any reason either. The weights must be lighter a bit, a bit lighter, are they? Oh, there we go. Come on, Come on keep her not now. So I, I, can, I can relate well, to that. Uh, well, uh, but you know, you, like, you likely went hunted for some sort of intentionality. <laughs> I suppose I, you, you, it was <laughs> just struck upon you. <laughs> it was just thrust upon me. Right? <laughs> but, we, but anyway, I mean, we just went for it. I mean, 
generally I just sort of thought, you know, for anybody entrepreneurial, there's a bit more, you no know, opportunity in that out there. So just so you you see it now as more of an opportunity, using that clout and using that fame as to uh, propel you into something you wanted uh, to convert into something like that. Okay. Go, 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 go. Pusher, come on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why do you do that, you bastard? <laughs> See, don't worry, go ahead. A machine like this would have come in handy for women over in America. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I should have went on it before her. <laughs> <laughs> tell me tell me about America. What happened in that period where we didn't know what was going on? I went to I got went to auction school and I done the real estate license out in Texas. That was fine. Uh, I, I was going with a few women that I was trying to get married to. I wasn't. Um, I wasn't just able to start working on the mainland straight away. So I was working on cruise ships for a while. So you were thinking green card on the brain. That was. And I've the, heard murmurs and rumours about these women out in America. They were of a certain age. Uh huh. Well, when you see the way I thought about it was like, I mean, does it make more sense for me? Like, I mean, some young girl, as you no, know, she's going to want a serious relationship, and you know, it takes. A about two or three years for that to cut to You're the right. face. 80 year old women aren't looking for anything serious. Do you know, I mean, if they haven't wrecked their own lives by that stage, you know, I mean, sure, I'm not going to, <laughs> do you know, sure, I mean, I'm not going to add any more additional carnage, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it just sort of seemed like she's up for the better crack. I want the green card, and that's, do you know, anything she demands, I'll supply, and, do you know, there'll be an effective enough agreement over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So, so that was the plan, but obviously it didn't work out. Then she died in the finish up, and then, so then we were just back to square one. <laughs> I was love So it was you were just done with the old women then after experience. Uh, oh, Did you go to the funeral and stuff like? Was no, I didn't. Only found out. Oh my God! <laughs> but anyway, that was. But anyway, that's what's. That's the way it. You're went. doing a bit of auctioning then, what? I'm all right. We just have to work out what exactly what weight does it that you'd like to bid on that well, there. What would you recommend? Well, what, 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 a man, a man of my size. Well, what, what about five? Would you put up on five? I would what go up five? again. Up again. Up again. What, what about what about ten? Now ten. What about ten? What about ten? What about fifteen? Twelve and a half. Twelve and a half. You would have been. You would have left twelve and a half. You would have left twelve and a half. Fifteen. Fifteen. What about seventeen and a half? What about twenty? So when back then I was living on Anch Island after I got back home, uh, I was doing a few just drug trials, but a tax and just to keep me all alive. Drug trials? Yes. And then, As in, like you were testing pharmaceutical drugs. That's what it was, all right. Being paid to do it, okay. Oh, aye. Well, it's the, you know, it's, it's, I suppose it's more, you know, like it's. Uh... Listen, I've done some dodgy jobs in my time as well, so I, I'm not, I'm not going to judge. Oh, God, what the judge knows that you get seven or eight grand a month for it. There's a hundred percent. Seven or eight grand a month for you, you drug trials. Hey, she wanted a drug, she wanted a real job, but pay that. But 25, 22 and a half, 2 and a half, 22 and a half, but 25, 5, 5, 5, 5, 2, 2 and 5, 25, 25, 35, 35, now 3 and 5, 30. We'll go with 40. 40. 40, yeah, 40. 40, yeah, 40. You're 40. Going. <laughs> you know yourself. <laughs> but, um, no, so anyway, that was, um, so we done that, and then I said, right, look, do you know what, I'm just going to use what I have to go and make it at home there now. So then I used the old, con there was a pile of these podcasts was looking for me back in the day, but I basically just had to uh, get the plans together just to work out what direction we were going before we, you know, sort of press forward with it in a professional so way. So you, you've come in, you've come into this now, and you have a plan in place, and he says, mm -hmm. right, it's time to get myself back in the spotlight, and mm -hmm. that's why you're doing all the shows and the mm -hmm. podcast and everything else, because you're ready to go back out into the world. Yes. Well, that was, I mean, the plan with that there was just, as I say, get, you know, get yourself back into the uh, spotlight there, and then plus the fact that this is right, just to get on to the next step, I just need to get myself a manager now, which is what I got now, and now it's just on to the next step of the more consistent professional output now, and then just, you know, just keep going from one thing to the other to the other. Are we, are we out at 40? We're going on 45? 45. We'll 45. 45. I don't want to... Well... You have to put us all out of misery now. What is the five-year plan for King Rory? What do we expect to see now over the coming months and years? Well, as far as King Rory is concerned, that's something that I'm just... That is a sustained commitment that I'm just leaving out there. I know I've basically rewrote the whole Irish constitution in terms of, like, everything between immigration, housing, the government, elections, how everything... Like, like an optimised uh, layout of how Ireland could function better under a Taoiseach McSorley. But given how, you know revolutionary that does and how different it is from the system you have at the minute the best i can do is release the book it's with a proofreader there at the minute just for commas and things like that but just <laughs> leave it but just leave it sitting there and then basically if you can get the right team for a provisional government basically like a transport minister that knows about transport a finance minister that knows about tram no finance and just get an actual team like that to back me for taoiseach mm -hmm. then then you could look at organising. How, like how far down the line is Taoiseach? How far away do you I, think that I, is? I can't put a date on that. You just have to, I think. But I think, you know, uh, you, I need to just press forward and be successful at, me, at knowing my own life and that first. So, I mean, that's what I'm just going to focus on and allow the case for that to make itself. Do you know?
And if, if I sort of try to appeal to a more like a more global audience, you no know, outside Ireland was doing that, then you have more of a case to say, do you know, I mean, look at the shape of this here in a way that should convert. Get a few to, potholes filled about Donegal and. Uh, oh no, no, we'd, we'd be able to get that done on the percent. Oh no, the an enhancement of local autonomy we get. You'll have a king of Donegal. You could go for that. So I'm not listen. I'm not going to step on anybody's toes. You're the king of Ireland now. You've got my vote. A hundred percent. Oh, but you could run Donegal County Council. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a job there, I'll take it, right? Oh, no. I don't know how long this social media crack's going to last, so you never know I make it into politics myself. Uh, you could. No, but that's what I would have you see. You just, everybody in Donegal would just get a vote for like one king of Donegal, and then you'd be able to just set like a bespoke rate of t council tax and that, just so if you're, if you're left behind by Dublin, which Donegal is. The thing about it is, there you are. All going good. Oh, well, that's not too bad there now. That's all right. Right. No, well, yeah. I'm nothing. Listen. I come up to you the other day, and I didn't expect to be as impressed as I am. Not one, because of your physical strength. Your fantastic tracksuit and <laughs> your aspirations mm -hmm. for political Ireland and what you're going to do for the country. King oh, Henry. oh, thank you very much. much. For my first 100%. YouTube video of 2024, we're kicking things off with a banger. Vote Rory. Oh, good man yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, sir. What? Where do we start? That was an experience. I mean, he's a very interesting guy. Um, he seems to have a vision of where he wants to go. It's just, you can't like he's a lovely man, but you just can't help but be baffled when you speak to him. He's just—it's not a character. He's just—he's he's just like that. He's always on. Um, it was an experience and a great way to kick off the new YouTube series. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like, follow, and subscribe, and all the things that those YouTube people say. Um, but we're planning on doing lots of fun content like this throughout the year. And if Rory does eventually run for Taoiseach, he has my vote. Thanks for watching, guys. He's just you're going rightly. Yeah, sure, pretty. I'm, uh, I'm in a really bad place at the moment. Um, not like mentally, I'm just in Lifford. 100%. Like a crazy frog, gang of style type of deal. Ah, no, have we just got that like the sports that is good? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> You're just dropping a sick auction beat over over a tune. That's Bushman Pisha player. That's a hundred percent. How are you? Boom, boom, boom in the background. Yeah. I've never heard anything described as that before, so... Oh, I. <laughs> and then uh, you have all these glow-in-the-dark sheep. There's bound to be some advantages to having one eye bigger than the other. Not really. No. And I'm, and I'm standing with a big fur coat, like a DJ saying, Dance tonight like it's your last, because it is your last. You're going on the market.